I think um, what is exciting and the topic of this meeting is to focus on skin. This for, for us basic scientists is the one really exciting entry point into human immunology because it's accessible. You can look at it in detail. So it's a fantastic area to work in to both understand basic mechanisms as well as the translational aspects into curing diseases. Wonderful research area. I would say my main interest has always been trying to figure out how immune responses are coordinated, how cells talk to each other and what the consequences are. And this has led us from one finding to the next, often unexpected, which led into following up different areas. So it looks quite unconnected what we are doing, but in the greater scheme, we, we really getting simply a broader understanding of how the immune system functions. Yeah, again, um, what, you, what you see is the successes um, where we made the right decision what to follow up. But we have also entered many dead end streets um, trying to follow something which turned out not, not very meaningful or, or impossible to solve. So there is a, is a great element of luck involved. And, and perseverance and, and, as I said, success in science is um, a small part of, of a big failure rate. I said 70 to, to, um, to 30, I couldn't put my, my word on it, but there are many things that go wrong. Ask the postdocs in the lab. Yeah, I have a very important uh, mentor and now long-standing friend from my first postdoc period in, in England is Liz Simpson, who worked in transplantation biology. Really our areas were very much um, connected and, and my interests soon went into other directions, but she has been very instrumental in, in supporting me and, and encouraging me. And subsequently, my most important influence in growing into confidence in science was the fantastic environment in the Basel Institute for Immunology. Where it wasn't one individual person, but it was this group of young researchers that were all there in, in, in the same situation. We all had very small labs, so it was very important to collaborate. and. It was fantastically collegial and, and basically I, I learned most of what I knew then um, at the Basel Institute, I would say. I think what is needed in order to thrive in research is an element of passion. You just have to be utterly determined um, that you might want to find out the solution to a particular problem. Maybe you have to be a bit autistic almost, I don't know, there is an element of this in, in scientists. Um, you know, the, the negative experiences, experimental failures, difficulties in getting jobs are so strong that if you don't have this strong drive, it's very hard to make it. But just be determined and convinced that you're following up something important and you'll make it.